okay so we had our flight test eight today and everything started just perfectly fine so let's see flight test eight pe kya kya cheeze test hui aur kya kya cheeze test nahi ho payi kyunki ship kho gaya चालू करें दोस्तों मैं तो मेंटर फ्रेंड मनीष पुरोहित हम फॉर्म एस साइंटिस्ट और आज स्पेस एक्स का फ्लाइट टेस्ट एट था स्टारशिप का और उस फ्लाइट टेस्ट में हमने शिप खो दिया लेकिन बूस्टर को हम कैच कर पाए थे चालू करते हैं ये पिछली बार का है ये भी पिछली बार के हैं पिछली से पिछली बार का ये फिर वापस बूस्टर कैच हुआ और ये सिचुएशन अभी है राइट नाउ दिस इज द सिचुएशन मोस्ट पावरफुल रॉकेट तो राइट नाउ वी आर लुकिंग एट द रैप्टर इंजन्स 33 थ्री रैप्टर इंजन्स जो स्टारशिप के ऊपर हैं बूस्टर के ऊपर हैं और स्टारशिप पे हैं छः ये हैं सुपर हेवी बूस्टर पे 33 थ्री एंड स्टारशिप पे हैं छः एवरी थिंग इज परफेक्टली फाइन टिल दिस पॉइंट जस्ट परफेक्टली फाइन एट दिस पॉइंट half after our last flight which saw the second ever tower catch of the super heavy booster and the first flight of our upgraded ship which unfortunately ended much sooner so right now hum dekhe to flaps ko thoda aage shift kar diya gaya thoda sa aage design change kiya gaya last time bhi kiya gaya tha and starship last time bhi blast hua tha is saal bhi abhi bhi dekhenge is baar kya hua we'll see so uh, at this moment propulsion loading ho rahi hum dekh rahe hain and this was also perfectly fine propulsion loading hui propellant loading hui propellant loading yahan pe jo hai status yahan pe aa raha hai and we were around 25 minutes away from the launch and things were going perfectly fine at this moment ye launch ta ka stack hai jo taiyar ho raha hai kyunki starship ek pe aayegi aur booster dusre pe aayega pressure yeah. coming out of those 33 raptor engines at the bottom of the super heavy booster at the time of lift off now you mentioned engines of the six raptor engines on the ship three of those are optimized for sea level performance and the other three for is for that initial ascent those all 33 will burn for the first roughly 2 minutes before we get into hot staging For hot staging, the second stage will ignite its engines while still attached to the first stage. That will create that stage separation. The booster will perform a flip maneuver and head on back to the launch site here, just behind us. Then, then we will hopefully see the third ever tower catch by the launch tower. Meanwhile, ship completes its ascent burn, gets into its suborbital trajectory. We've got some extra things we're going to do in space, like deploy those Starlink simulators. Also going to be relighting one of the Raptor engines, one of the sea level engines, before we get into reentry. Yeah, that reentry phase will test multiple experiments, including missing heat shield tiles, metallic tiles, and loading the vehicle's flaps. The ship will then perform a flip maneuver and uh, hopefully achieve a soft water landing, as we have seen before. We've got some buoy cams that stationed out there to give us great daylight views of that. will aid in future longer duration missions. We also implemented propulsion upgrades such as new fuel feed line system for the Raptor vacuum engines as well as vacuum jacketing of feed lines and an improved propulsion avionics module. And you've heard us talk a lot of the experiments we're running today are focused on reentry. We're intentionally removing a whole bunch of tiles all over Starship itself in this missing tile test. They're removed in critical areas this time including over those propellant tanks around some of the flaps as we're really looking to use this flight to push starship's capabilities if we're not resilient to a missing tile and the backup ablative underneath we need to know that uh, we also test a couple of different tiles on starships and metallic ones one of which has some active cooling built into it 
Avionics also underwent a complete redesign with four upgraded Starlink terminals. You can see the location there popping up on your screen. Uh, those now combine Starlink navigation and radio frequency as well as communications into a single unit. And non-structural versions of the ship's catch fittings have been installed to test thermal performance, i.e. do they survive free entry, along with smothered and tapered edge on a smooth and tapered edge on the uh, tile line to address hot spots we covered in Saw and Flight 6. And we've got some radar sensors on the tower catch arms again as we're just looking at different ways to measure distance between the arms and a vehicle. These ones are actually protected by kind of a modified version of our heat shield tiles. Catching the ship's going to be a little different from catching a booster. One of the key things is it's going to do that flip right before its landing burn that rapidly reorients your antennas, which you're using for navigation. So those extra sensors on the ground side help just add more layers of control as ship and tower talk together for the catch. And Link mini dish in the foreground here as Starship lands in the background. Just what an image that captured uh, from an earlier flight. Now, Starlink also connects our aerial and cinematography units on the ground at Starbase, which will help us uh, deliver the incredible drone shots leading up to launch today. And here on your screen, you can actually see us moving the flaps, preparing Starship for flight, making sure all of the aero surfaces that need to move during flight can do so in the way that we need them to. Now, on Starship itself, Starlink will enable Starship today to stream more than 120 megabits per second of real-time high-definition video and telemetry in every phase of flight, including views like you're seeing right now of those flaps moving. This not only helps provide those views, but it also helps give our engineers an incredible amount of data to help us rapidly and iterate across all parts of the system as we move through our development program. T minus eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. seconds, a little over 40 seconds into the flight. We are seeing 33 out of 33 Raptor engines ignited. Boosters pushing us downrange over the Gulf. Next milestone coming up in just under 10 seconds is going to be max Q, that max aerodynamic pressure. Max Q. The ship's engines will ignite while still attached to the Super Heavy booster, and also while Super Heavy booster will still be under power itself. The clamps holding the two stages together are going to release, and Starship second stage engines will ignite. Engine cut off. Ship engine start up. Stage separation. Boost back burn startup. There we go. Ship engines, all six Raptors ignited. We're doing that boost back burn. Looks like we got 11 of the 13 that we command for Cold that. So return. that's going to start sending the booster back. We are still go for booster return, even with two Raptors out during that boost back. We can do a full duration one. Uh, looks like we got a ship, six engines heading into space, that precision flight into the tower. Right now, Booster using its four hypersonic grid fins to help guide itself through this atmospheric entry back for its precision, precision landing at the launch site. Once again, we're going to ignite first the Center 13 engines, which you can see that coming up here momentarily. Engines and startup. This is going to come down to three engines as the booster slows down for its landing. And we just heard the sonic boom.
what an incredible sight to see the super heavy booster gliding down Appreciate into the chopstick down. arms once again. Thank you very much. Pop the booster. Possible for us that's looking uh, right down inside essentially the skirt area of ship where you can see a pretty good view of all six wrap. So here the problem happened. Now up there Koniche. Look at the screen. Starship Ghumne Lagai. Engines shut off again. Kali do engine. Bade wale do white circle dikhne baki char teen choto rek bada white circle off hai. And the starship has lost the attitude. अब वो घूम रहा है मतलब बैलेंस जा चुका है क्योंकि इंजन्स ने फायर करना बंद कर दिया अब दो ही इंजन फायर हो रहे हैं स्पीड पे कंट्रोल नहीं है कुछ भी अब ओरिएंटेशन पे कोई कंट्रोल नहीं है नो कंट्रोल एट ऑल राइट नाउ सो यहां पर स्टारशिप जो है इट लॉस्ट इट क्योंकि इंजन ने फायर होना बंद कर दिया अचानक बंद हो गए बस दो फायर हो रहे बाकी छह में से अंदर के जो तीन है वो रैप्टर और तीन जो रैप्टर वैक्यूम है उसमें से दो फायर हो रहे हैं एक रैप्टर वैक्यूम भी बंद हो चुका है and you look at the animation jo data aata hai jisse ki wo real time update karte hain and we can see the view of the camera also so starship yahan par just lost the engines and bas ye wo point hai jahan pe starship khatam ho gaya so is particular flight test 8 mein bhi we lost the starship booster ko perfectly catch kar liya gaya but the starship was lost last time blast hua tha is time bhi starship jo hai उसका ओरिएंटेशन मेंटेन नहीं कर पाए एंड देन दैट्स ऑल कोई भी इंजन अभी फायर नहीं हो रहा लुक एट द कॉर्नर राइट हैंड कॉर्नर पे आप देखेंगे नन ऑफ द इंजन इज फायरिंग एंड वी हैव नो कंट्रोल ऑन द स्टारशिप सो दैट्स व्हाट वेंट रॉन्ग इन फ्लाइट टेस्ट एट द स्टारशिप इज गॉन बूस्टर को हम कैच कर पाए थे यू कैन सी द बूस्टर राइट नाउ इट्स देयर ऑन द टार ये जो फुटेज हमें दिख रहा है उसमें पीछे बूस्टर हमें दिख रहा है टार पे बट स्टारशिप इज गॉन दैट्स वॉट हैपन